Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayna and I hope you're all doing very well. As you can tell from this title, today we are going to be doing a quick review of the newest launch from Byron and that is Green Butterfly. So if that's something you're, you're interested in then just keep on watching. For those of you that are new, welcome. On this channel we talk about fragrance and skincare so if that's something that sounds interesting to you please consider subscribing and for those of you that are returning thank you so much i truly appreciate you continuing to watch my videos so without further ado let's just get into the video okay guys so i have tried filming this so many times and for some reason i have a really hard time explaining this fragrance it's i don't know what it is but anyways so <laughs> Here is the box. Um, I did an unboxing of this on my Instagram, but um, it comes with this green sleeve that's very tightly on the box and mine came kind of wrinkled. Um, so yeah, but anyways, so you just pull it off. There we go. Okay, so um, on the front here, it has Byron Parfum sort of embossed. I don't know if you can tell. And then on the top, we have the Byron logo. And then you open it up and here's the fragrance. I love the green, green's my favorite color. Another reason why I was even more intrigued. I feel like the green just really sucked me in. But anyways, um, mine actually came with the cap like resting on the side here. The cap on this one for some reason just does not want to stay on the bottle. So um, yeah, just be warned the cap for some reason, at least on mine, is very, very loose. So here is the bottle. Um, on the front, it just says green butterfly. And then on the back, we have this cute little butterfly motif. And then at the bottom here, I don't know if you can tell, but there's, it actually says what number out of 2,500 your bottle is. This is limited edition. So that was sort of what sparked me to want to try this because I didn't want to miss out. If, if it was going to be something amazing, then, you know, I just didn't want to miss out on it. So anyways, like I said, I've tried to film this so many times, but um, yeah, I just can't explain this fragrance very well. But anyways, I'm going to put the notes up here. So let's go through them together. So in the top, we have Iris Absolute Orange Blossom Chocolate and Citrus. In the middle, we have White Musk, Vanilla, Suede, Jasmine, and Aldehydes. And in the base, we have Sandalwood, Patchouli, Exotic Wood, and Vetiver. So I have been wearing this now for three days. I got it on Friday and it's now Sunday. So yeah, this is my third day of wearing it. And okay, so... I don't know what it is, but I'm having an extremely hard time wrapping my head around this fragrance. When I first sprayed it, I initially got this very powdery, almost baby powder-like muskiness, um, which are typically the musks that I steer away from. Um, the first fragrance that popped into my head was Kaali's Musk 12, but when I actually went to spray them side by side, they are totally different. This. Um, has much more of like this aldehydic kick to it. Um, I, and just so you know, I don't really like the Kaali Musk 12. I'm not a fan. I, um, it's just not a musk that I like. The typical musks that I'm drawn to are like Narciso, Rodriguez for her. Those are the type of musks that I love. Also, um, La Nuit Trezor, the Musk Diamant. If you know that musk in that one, I really like that type of musk. Um, but so anyways, yeah, I am, I am a musk girl. Like I really enjoy musk. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit surprised. This fragrance is predominantly a musky powdery iris with hints of like chocolatey, like cocoa, not, not chocolate, like creamy chocolate, but more of like a dusty sort of chocolatey and vanilla like it's very hard to explain i don't know i'm not doing a very good job and i apologize but for some reason this fragrance is just it's like it's just taking me on this wild ride of trying to figure out what it is so i like i said i initially when i first sprayed it i was kind of disappointed just because i was like oh it's so powdery and like i'm not a huge fan of powdery fragrances but then the more that i'm wearing it it's starting to grow on me and I'm starting to notice these other nuances to this fragrance that I didn't get when I first sprayed it. So now that I've been wearing it more, I'm starting to get more of like this 
almost makeup-y like iris powderiness whereas in the beginning it was just I was just chalking it up to like baby powder and like I don't know this baby powdery muskiness whereas now I'm getting more of the iris I don't get much of that orange blossom but I, I definitely get this um, powdery iris with again a powdery musk and then little hints of vanilla and chocolate mixed in um, it's a very unique fragrance I think I don't I haven't smelled anything like this at first it does just sort of have this overwhelmingly powdery muskiness but the more it starts to settle on your skin it becomes almost like almost like a little bit cozy and like slightly warm um it's it's such an interesting fragrance i really can't, it's hard for me to describe i'm just gonna go ahead and spray it again on this hand so that i can top up i've had it on my hand i've been like i said been filming this so many times and i just can't seem to accurately portray how this smells in words okay so at the initial spray, you do get like a slight blast of those citrus notes, um, but you and you do get this sort of like chocolatiness. But I would say the main focal point of this fragrance from start to finish is this powdery muskiness. Like that's that's the only way I can put it. Um, so if you don't like powdery sort of aldehydic musky fragrances, you're probably not going to like this. I'm just going to say it straight up. But then the more it dries down, I start to get this sort of chocolatey vanillic touch, which I really do enjoy. And it, it is starting to grow on me. Um, the sillage on this is absolutely beautiful. When I just go like this and I get like a whiff of it, it's just, it smells very clean and sophisticated like i just think like classy sophisticated and just it it almost even has this sort of sensual sort of aspect to it and it's it also has this sort of air of mysteriousness to it because like i said i can't pinpoint exactly what this smells like it's so hard for me like i can't say like this smells like this fragrance or this smells like this fragrance or it's like these two fragrances put together. Like I feel like this is a very unique fragrance even though you can tell that it has this powdery DNA to it. I can't seem to pinpoint what this smells like. It's very light in texture. It's not dense and thick like Mula Mula. Mula Mula, if you don't know, is like, is a very fruity caramel, sort of dense, thick, and sweet fragrance. This is sort of like on the opposite spectrum of that. This is not that dense thickness. This is very like light and airy, but at the same time, it's extremely long lasting. So this is an extrait parfum concentration. So this is gonna stick on your skin for a very long time. And I can tell you from spraying it on my hand, I don't know if you can see, but the oil content on this is very high. So um, yes, this is a very potent fragrance. It's gonna last a long time. And the sillage on, sillage on this is actually really pretty. It has this sort of like sophisticated sophisticated classiness to it this luminosity it's a little bit sensual I picture it like just looking very put together and a fragrance that you can wear at all times I think it's a really nice release from a niche brand because sometimes niche fragrances can be sort of like fragrances you only want to wear for like a certain occasion or like a certain mood or they just give off like a certain vibe whereas this fragrance I feel like is it could actually even be a signature scent like it's it's very sort of um, classy and sophisticated and not leaning to one specific mood um i feel like men or women can wear this it's not necessarily like specifically for women because although it does have some florals in it it's not overly like i don't get a lot of that orange blossom i get mainly the iris um so it's i think it's unisex maybe leaning slightly feminine but like very slightly yeah i just it's it smells clean to me it smells um slightly sweet and fresh um but overall i'm i'm just gonna try and simplify it because i haven't seen too many reviews of this in fact i think the only review up right now is in french so i am having a hard time because there's nobody that i've been able to like bounce my feelings of this fragrance off of like i'm just going in blind with what i feel and so um just to simplify it i feel like it's a powdery musky and slightly sweet from like a 
cocoa powder and vanilla like <laughs> that's how I'm gonna say it and like it does have the patchouli and the sandalwood and the and the the woods and the vetiver in the base but I don't get like a ton of that vetiver it's it's just a very sort of like I get this sort of like ethereal quality to this it's very um like I said it's sort of like it's sort of like transparent like it's not it's not like super thick and dense. I, I'm not really sure if the green bottle is like meant to signify anything because I don't really picture this as being like a green fragrance. This to me just has like this overall, a very light and airy freshness to it, but fresh in the sense of like powderiness, not fresh in the sense of citrus fresh or like this is not a laundry musk this is a powdery musk if that sort of helps you um decipher like which avenue of musk because i feel like there's so many different types of musks there's like you know there's like those deep animalic musks then there's like the powdery musks this to me leans more on the powdery side because that iris really pulls in and gives it almost like this powdery makeupy iris but then it's beautiful mixed in with like the the cocoa and the vanilla so yeah like i said you guys i know i'm rambling but it's been difficult for me to sort of wrap my head around what this smells like but i wanted to get this video out for anybody who was interested in picking this up or um, getting a decant of it at least i i I blind bought this which is something that I typically don't do but there was really no other way for me to try it and I didn't want to miss out on a limited edition so um, this is like a type of fragrance that I think you could wear to the office very easily this is not going to offend anybody it's it's a very light yet um, long wearing fragrance it just sort of makes me feel like I'm in a cocoon of a clean musky powderiness like I don't know how else to put it with like a hint of sweetness so that's how I describe it and it leaves a beautiful scent trail too like it it just makes me feel like I'm cocooned in like a soft sophisticated classy musky sensual powdery fragrance with a hint of sweetness i know that was a very very long description but that is the best way that i can describe it like i i can picture this sort of paired with like a very crisp clean white blouse or a white shirt you know just like a very put together looking outfit um but this is like a type of fragrance that you don't need to really think about all that much like i i can just kind of spray this all over and go about my day it's not a fragrance that i need to really think Ooh, what am I gonna wear you know for that event or is that fragrance gonna be too much of a certain vibe you know this is the type of fragrance that can pretty much go with anything I think it's it has this slight warmness to it so I think it, it is actually a really nice fragrance for the fall and winter but I also think it would probably work in spring I'm not really sure how well this is gonna do in the summer but I think um, for the fall and winter and the spring months I think this would be a perfectly good option um, and yeah, longevity wise, this lasted more than eight hours easily on my skin. And, um, I was able to still smell it even after I showered. Like it's very, very potent. Yeah. I think it's just a very, um, it's one of those fragrances that's starting to grow on me. Like I said, it has this sophisticated, classy, sensual aspect to it, which, um, I think is really pretty. So if you like the type of DNA that's like, powdery musky iris with hints of like chocolate and vanilla i think um you might actually enjoy this there are some aldehydes in there though so you're gonna get a little bit of that blast of slight soapiness it's it's very slight though i think it's there to just sort of like give this a lifted and effervescent quality to it um but yeah so that was a bit rambly, I apologize, but um, that is my overall take on Byron's Green Butterfly. If you have picked this up, I would absolutely love to know what your thoughts are down below because like I said, I have heard nothing <laughs> about this fragrance yet. So I'm super interested to hear what everybody else thinks. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.